like you were saying, the, the leading by example, like we've got situations where Audrey is getting after it. Like she's getting busy playing softball. She's got tons of homework that she has to do. Mm -hmm. She's singing. She wants to run track. And look, I don't want, I don't want to limit her to the things that she can do. If she, if she can do it and if she can handle it, go for it. You know, I mean, at a certain point, she's got to Like, we got to talk to her. and She's got to understand that if you want to be good at one thing, then like if you're splitting your time, you're not going to be the best at any one thing. Right. You know, but if you're OK with that, then all right. But when there's times that she has a lot going on, mm -hmm. like we've said before, there's times when it's like, go do your homework. We'll clean up. Right. Like we do yes. things like we support each other. And that yes. is leading by example. Yes. It's um, it's team effort, right? And when I notice, I haven't told, I haven't told her the other day. So I go into her room to check on her, and um, she's just not feeling well. Like she's in her emotions, and I can tell. And I'm like, "Hey, are you done with your homework?" And she looks at it, and she's like, "No." She's like, "No, I've been sitting here since I got home." I'm like, "What's going on?" She's like, "I don't want to do it." I said, okay. I said, well, explain. She's just like, I just don't feel like doing it. Like she's at that point where she's just frustrated with all the homework. She, she's she, paralyzed. Yes. And I, and I looked at it and it was almost complete. There was only one page that wasn't done and everything else was so beautifully done, <laughs> Yeah, you know? And I'm like, don't do it then. I said, what are you going to get? If you, it's incomplete, what are you going to get? Like a C, maybe a B minus? I'm like, everything else on here looks great. I'm like, I'm fine with you just not doing it. I'm like, if you get a C, you get a C. And she looks at me and she's like, I will not get a C. I don't want a C. Well, if that's the case. There's your answer, baby. Give in to it. If you're not okay. Fighting. Exactly. If you're not okay with getting a C. Then just give into it. And everybody has that. Everybody has these situations that it's like going for a run. Like how long do you sit there and look at your shoes before you actually fucking put them on and go running? Or look at the pool before or, you get in. Right. The cold plunge. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You yeah. know, the, yeah, just, and, uh, that's, I think David Goggins talks about that. And it's like those one second battles. Mm. It's those one second battles that in that moment, make, just make the decision. Go, yeah. just go, mm -hmm. you know, what was so great about that is that she knows who she is and she knows what she's okay with. She was not okay with getting a C. Do you understand? Yeah. Like she, it's like, I know my self-worth and I, I, I know that I'm not going to be okay with getting a C. That's what it was. I know I'm not going to be okay with, with getting to see. Yeah. I'm like, okay, baby, then do it. Put some music on. Yeah. Put some music on and just get it done with. Get it over with. Just do it. Yep. Yeah. You know? But that's the struggle that we all go through.